But look at that, what a day. Don't get too much better than that. Very light winds, hardly any breeze, and clear blue skies. Couldn't be any better for flying. So let's get into what we're about to show you. All right, so I bought this. I bought this about a week ago. You're on special. You can see what it is. I'm just carrying it out to the table and we'll get a look at it a bit closer. These are going very cheap at the moment. They originally were selling here in Australia for $1,700, which is why I've never bought one because I don't believe they're worth that much, but that's what they were selling them for. Parrot had them for $1,700. It's a Parrot Disco, a fixed wing FPV drone. Comes with its own own headset, you put your phone in. Um, long range controller has a has a has a range of up to two kilometers apparently. We'll test that one out. Uh, good battery life, it's a smallish battery, but it goes for 45 minutes. Now there's some there's also some mods you can do um, which I have the battery for just by cutting a little bit of the foam out you can insert a bigger battery and get up to an hour flight time so that's going to be something I'm going to look at doing top speed of around 80 kilometers an hour and it has a full HD camera uh, built into the nose of it 1080p it is that's all it is it looks like a lot of fun so these were going for about $1,700 here in Australia I so said they're selling them now for $460 I haven't flown it yet. I'll show you the maiden flight when we get it out there. Hopefully we can get it out there in this beautiful weather we got now. Let's open the box and have a look. Right. So there she is inside. It's the machine. <coughs> I'll take everything out and we'll have a good look at it. So we've got the headset here. If you put your phone in it. Got the Parrot Disco controller with long range antenna on the top. This machine has an automatic takeoff and landing function as well, which I'm really keen to try. Now the, the beast itself, Parrot Disco. Three axis image, stabilized, 1080p camera. clip in there and you've got your servos built inside to control your ailerons and your foldable props so when you come in for a landing you're not breaking props all the time all right what else we got we've got some instructions instruction book a bit of a flick through that a bit of thickness to it Spare props. Got a charger. Got your battery. And the battery, which has a standard XT60 connector to it. It's a three cell battery, 2700 milliamp battery. So here's your wings. I'm going to clip into the side. First parrot I've bought. I owned a lot of DJIs, but this is my first parrot. Here's the other side. We'll clip clip them in in a minute. Holder for your phone. So no doubt that'll connect on to here somewhere. And the last thing in the box is what is in here. Get all your battery cables, charging cables, USB cable, different types of plugs to see what country you live in. Need 
getting any of those. The only one I will need is this particular one here. The seats for Australian wall sockets. Slips in and turn it. So there we go. That's pretty good. Not bad. Okay. Alright, we'll put it together and have a bit of a look. So that's what you get. Okay, so we've got your little cockpit. It's a magnet. It's just got magnets stuck on by magnets. That reveals the brain, which is the chuck. So you plug your battery in into the back here. I'm assuming it's going to need to be updated. There's two little micro USB ports. I'm assuming one of them will be needed to connect to the computer to update your firmware. So these wings, you got two holes. There's one there and one there. And your servos sit into that. Connect to the servos inside. You just push in and you get a click. And this section here connects to the wing, which gives you that. Just push them in gently, push them in, and they connect into the same spot, straight there. Looks like it's got about an eight inch prop on it. Doesn't say anything on the motor about how many kV it is. So here's the power disco all set up. It's got a wingspan, looks like it's close to a meter. I'm really keen to get myself into this, some FPV with this, and do some long range waypoint mission flights. Some videos on YouTube I've seen have impressed me quite a lot only particularly because of the flight time that you can get lets you fly a long distance and it looks fairly well built and from what I've seen with crashes it's this is plastic hopefully it holds up I'm assuming parts if you break a wing can be can be bought pretty easily holding this lid down you got little magnets two magnets here another magnet there and another magnet there keeps it on fairly snug it's not going to blow off it takes a little bit of effort to, to pull it off so these goggles you fit your phone in take some protective stuff off here There doesn't seem to be any adjustments with your eyes. There is no adjustments in and out, or left and right. So I'm interesting to see. I'll be interested to see how that how that goes with my eyes. I thought there would have been some sort of adjustment on it, but there isn't, from what I can see. They're just basically VR goggles. So you pull out the tray. And then you're left with this, so you flip open the lid and insert your phone. Insert your phone into here. I don't understand why there's no why there's no adjustments for the eyes, but we'll find out. Hopefully it's all good. They're pretty big. They're fairly big lenses, so maybe that's the reason why. Okay, I just connected the battery in. It's you've got to really push the battery down quite far to connect that XT60 connector up to the chuck. To connect your phone, your phone holder up to your controller, you've got a little a little angle, a little uh, piece that goes off in a screw nut. So it just basically pops in like that, and you screw it down. Very simple. You've got a button on the side. And that opens up to, so, yeah, you should be able to fit an iPad in there. You can rotate the holder to fit the smartphone's dimension. To do this, press on it and rotate it to the right. And that's nice and easy. So with your charging, 
I'd recommend get yourself a decent charger because the one that comes with it, really, I mean, I'm not a believer of charging up these sort of batteries just with a balance port. And that's how that's set up. So that gets plugged in here. And then this end here goes into your charger which plugs into the wall. So that's the wall charger you get is fine I think for charging up your remote controller. But this one here, no, rubbish. Charge it with a proper balance charger. It's got to connect it to the controller. Alright, so what we'll do, it's all connected up. We've got our wire connected, controller off, disco off. So what we'll do is power on the disco. Wait for the blue light to turn green. That means we have satellites. The controller is on and it's opening up the Parrot Free Fright Pro app. Connect to a drone, I don't know whether we've. Disco, connecting to the disco, let's hit that. It's connecting to the disco and there we go, we've got video our video feed there, we might be able to see the latency there, a little bit. Okay, the controller is now green, so it looks like we're all good. You can see in there we've got a solid green light. So we're looking out into my garden now. So let's have a look at what we've got here. So if we go into update required, your device needs to be updated, it's saying now, so let's OK that. So I'm saying two devices, we have one update, Disco is up to date, Sky Controller 2 running version 1.0.2, we'll install 1.0.07.7. So that's, in, that's sending it now, it's installing this. So I'll let that do its thing. Should take a few minutes. about installed. Okay, Sky Controller up to date, Disco also up to date, both running the latest versions. Alright, so now <coughs> it wants me to calibrate the drone. You'll need to calibrate the drone to fly outdoors. Please calibrate the drone. Okay, so we're going to calibrate the drone. This quick operation will make it possible for you to fly your drone outdoors. Calibrate. Keep, keep your drone in a vertical position for five seconds. Please turn your drone on its Z axis as shown in the image. Please turn your drone on its Y axis as shown in the image. Please turn your drone on its X axis as shown in the image. And that's all calibrated. As you can see, there's the camera. Here, everything is good. Sit here. Okay, we'll just have a little look over the app. See if I can familiarise myself with the app. 
Um, down the bottom here it shows meters per second, so I want to change that to kilometers per kilometers an hour if I can. Altitude one meter high. Uh, that must be distance away from the controller. Six meters, well we're not that far away. Okay, battery remote showing 94% on the remote controller. We have GPS lock. We have Wi-Fi signal. 99% on the disco for its battery. There's GPS lock also on the disco. So up the top here, that's your record button. So we're currently recording. Hit the stop button there so that'll stop. So our settings. Go into our settings. Interface settings. I'm not going to touch anything here because I don't. I'll leave it all on its default settings to start with. Piloting, pitch mode normal, loiter direction clockwise, loiter altitude 50 meters set. So you can lower it down to 20 and you can raise it right up to 150. I'll keep it at 50. It's default. Safety. So return delay after disconnection is 10 seconds. I think I like that down a little, just a little bit long. Maybe we'll go seven, seven seconds. Maximum altitude 150 meters, minimum altitude of five meters. Max distance, I'll take the other two kilometers. Geofence, yes, geofence, no. Okay, so your video settings. We're running 1080p. Video quality is on high. Frame rate, I might stick that up to 30 frames per second. Ne network settings, I'm not going to touch. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Controller. Showing, um, showing everything you need there for your firmware firmware updates if you want to, up to check for updates and calibrate the magnometer we have an internal storage with this machine of 30 gigabytes I think it is or 32 30 or 32 so it's got an internal storage in there to switch from photo to video you click here and if you want to control it through the tablet, you can do it that way too, which no thank you. you can switch between your map view and your camera view. And it brings it back by hitting it again. So that's your autopilot, you have to buy that and it's not free. So that's $31, 31 Australian dollars. tutorial here it's the best I can do I'm still learning this like I said myself and hope you look forward to my first flight which I'm keen to do it will be interesting so stay tuned for that so from now I'll see you next video have a good one catch you then bye